What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. Happy 2020. This is my first video of the new year and I thought I'd talk about some New Year's resolutions, New Year's photo resolutions, if you will. So I made a list because I wanted to make sure I didn't forget anything. This video is kind of just going to be me talking about short-term and long-term photo go goals that I have. Um, also, I want you guys to leave your 2020 photo goals down in the comments so we can kind of pump each other up. I'd love to hear what you guys have going on for the new year. All right, let's get started. So my, I, I also wanted to start off by saying that we had, I had a phenomenal 2019 as far as photo stuff goes. I got to do a, let's see, I got to do a shoot for MTV News, which was really awesome. I photographed this actress called um, Joe Langston. Um, I'll put the photo in the video so you can check it out. It ended up, uh, we had a quick photo shoot with her at a press junket she was doing for a movie and MTV News had it on their website. So it was really cool. I obviously hope to do more of that kind of stuff in the future, but that was definitely a 2019 highlight. Another 2019 highlight was our Analog Talks podcast first live show at the Film Paidea. That was so much fun, so scary, but so fun. Um, we, we did our live show in front of 150 people, which is insane, and the film idea itself, if you were there, you guys know it was such a blast, and we were honored to be a part of it. Um, along with that, we got to do our first LA meetup. So because Timothy and I were invited to the Paidea, he flew into LA and hung out here for a couple days, and we ended up doing an LA meetup, and we got to meet and hang out with so many people, which was an, an awesome experience in and of itself, and we hope to do more meetups in the future. Another 2019 highlight was being invited on Jason's YouTube, Grainy Days. I was a guest on his uh, In Between Two Ferns style YouTube uh, video, so if you guys haven't checked that out, I'll also link that below. That was hilarious, and yeah, one, another one of my 2019 highlights. And just overall, the channel, this channel's growth in 2019 has really exceeded my expectations. I'm almost at 3,000 subscribers, and I just want to take a second and say thank you to everybody who watches and likes and subscribes. Um, I'm planning on a lot more YouTube stuff in 2020, so this is that's awesome. So that brings me to my first short-term goal for 2020. So piggybacking off my last statement to make more YouTube videos. I really want to carve out some time to focus on this channel and do more film reviews, more camera reviews. Uh, I really like to get into doing more interviews. So finding people in the community that, I, that, you know, around the LA area that I could have on my channel and do like an interview style type thing. I'm really interested in, in, and meeting new people and having kind of an extension of Analog Talk Podcast, but for my YouTube channel. So that's another uh, YouTube channel overall goal. So I hope you guys will stick around for that because I plan on uh, really hustling on this channel for 2020. Okay. So uh, next thing, obviously, is to continue to host uh, Analog Talk with Timothy Ditzler, Timothy Makeups. We've had a phenomenal 2019 um We've had guests like Jason Lee and Adam Goldberg and so many other people in the film photography community. Just so many other people. I can't even, I'm blanking right now on all the people, the amazing people we've gotten a chance to talk to, but you guys know that I'm, I'm freaking honored to, to, to do the show. Um, it's been a blast and we even ended our year with the actor Jeff Bridges, which is still like bananas to me. I can't believe that actually happened. So thank you to all of our Analog Talk podcast listeners. We plan on having a exciting 2020 year as well. So um, stay tuned for all that stuff. More meetups hopefully too. We're, we're really trying to get out there. We'd love to do a New York meetup. I hate to say this stuff out loud because I don't want to disappoint anybody, but we're definitely um, trying to make our way out to New York for a meetup. So hopefully very soon. Next short-term goal, um, I need to shoot more film. So just shooting in general. I've been, you know, focusing on the podcast and the YouTube channel, but I really haven't been shooting as much as I'd like to. Um, I got to get back into the, the mode of like always having a camera with me and just shooting, shooting, shooting just because I miss it. You know, I got to just get back out there. I miss it so much. Another thing, photo Career-wise, um, I want to start reaching out to magazines and, 
you know, potentially work with some magazines out here in LA or anywhere and anywhere else really. Um, I just want to start making connections. I'd love to, you know, be the photographer, you know, that gets a feature in a magazine, whether it's a musician or an actor or something that needs photos to go along with an article. Um, I'd love to be that person. So I'm for 2020, I'm going to try to, you know, get my name out there, reach out to these, these people, make some contacts and hopefully start doing shoots that get featured somewhere. Not unlike the, the MTV news, you know, in that same vein of the MTV news, uh, feature that I got to, to be a part of. So that's going to be a major 2020 goal for me. So stay tuned. Oh, cross your fingers. Another one, um, aside from reaching out to magazines, I want to start planning photo shoots. So kind of like the shoot I did for the Lumography Metropolis film, like getting a model and doing a shoot. I need to, to get back into that because honestly, back in the day, it's all I did was reach out to people I wanted to work with. And I did photo shoots, like whether it was in the studio or on location. So because it's been so long, I feel like I'm lost my confidence a little bit. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that. But once you step back, you feel like, oh, can I even really still do that anymore? The answer is yes. So I'm going to make that a major focus for 2020. Just, you know, on top of getting out and shooting out and about wherever I go and having a camera and stuff, I really want to like plan photo shoots. So that's something that I'll be working towards in 2020 as well. Another short-term goal, I want to start shooting large, large format. Large, I want to shoot large format, basically. Um, I'd love to do large format portraits, um, but I haven't shot large format four by five since photography school, which was in like 2003 long freaking time ago. So That'll probably be something if I do do it, I'll, you know, hopefully get to feature it on my YouTube channel. So you guys will get to see the journey there. But yeah, I want to rent a four by five and try it out because it's been forever. And I, I feel like it's, that's something that's missing in my life. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for all this stuff. Basically, this is going to be staying tuned for everything in 2020. But yeah, that's something I've been dying to do for a long time. Another one. I brought the traveling film camera back. So I will leave that link in the description for the Instagram, but I, I shoot, I should have brought it, but my traveling film camera is a Olympus point and shoot 150 zoom. That's kind of a funny story. It started with my really good friend who was my roommate at the time. She was taking a trip to Israel and I said, Oh, you should take one of my film cameras with you. Cause that'll be fun. And she did, and we both loved the images she got from that trip. And then when my boyfriend, now fiancé, ended up doing a trip with his buddy to Japan, I said, oh, you should take the same camera. And that kind of turned into a project. Um, the camera so far has been to Israel, Japan, it's been to France, it's been to South Africa, it's been to Iceland, it's been to Mexico, it's been to all these places. So um, I'm definitely wanting to bring that back in 2020. Um a friend of mine recently took it on like this major trip to Europe. So that's kind of what's been posting now. If you follow that Instagram, uh, it's at traveling film camera. I will put that in the description below. So if any of you guys are traveling outside of the country and want to be a part of it, let me know. And if it works out, if I can get you the camera, I would love to continue this project. I started about, geez, I started that before that was before analog talk. That was my first like photo project. So I'm excited to get back into that. I also want to get back to doing documentary photography with a musician or a band. I really miss documenting the magic of being in the studio with the artists as they record and, you know, being kind of the fly on the wall, if you will, to that whole journey of an artist creating an album or, or a song or anything like that. Also, you know, documenting just their journey in general, whether it's photographing their shows or like behind the scenes of that stuff. I really had an awesome time with an artist called Patrick Martin. So I'm hoping to do more of that either with him or with somebody else in the future. So I would say that's one of my most favorite types of photography is, is you know, documenting, docu documenting uh, musicians in, in the process of doing their thing basically. I also want to get back to going to photo meetups. There's a lot of photo meetups that happen around LA. Beers and Cameras is one of them. The Photo Alliance is another. 
Um, I just want to get back out into the community and hang out with people who are into the same sort of stuff as me. So that's definitely a goal for 2020 is to, to get back out to meetups. And that, my friends, believe brings us to my long-term goals. My One of my long-term goals, which I, I still don't know how I feel about, I'm kind of in a weird place as, when it comes to set photography. Um, I've had some really great experiences with on-set photography and some not so great experiences. So I'm kind of trying to see if set photography as like a career fits into my life at the moment. Um, I'd love the opportunity to work on something really cool. Um, I don't know really how to explain that other than, you know, I, I, I just want to be a part of something people are doing. People are creating such incredible work. Um, and I really love being a part of that whole process behind the scenes, um, stills, behind the scenes is really kind of, because I like docu document documentary style photography. Um, doing the behind the scenes is something that um, I, I love the most about set photography. So I'm figuring out, like I said, where that fits into my life. And I definitely am not closing the door on it yet. So hopefully you'll see me on set in sometime in my future. Another long-term goal is kind of a pipe dream for me is to direct slash shoot a documentary, whether that is a music documentary or a documentary about film photography somehow, um, or just any other project that comes my way that I feel passionate about. Um, it's always been a dream to do something like that. So keep your eye out, but not for, you know, it's, it's something that, that is a life goal for me. So I just feel like somewhere down the line, the right thing will come along, the stars will align, and um, I'll be able to do a project like that. So that's, um, yeah, definitely, I'm going to put it out there. I hope it's in my future to the universe. This is me putting it out to the universe. Um, so yeah, dream of mine is to, to direct a documentary. And that brings me to my last, certainly not least, long-term goal. Um, so many, maybe some of you guys have heard me talking on social media about opening a community darkroom. This is something that is a long-term goal, but also a short-term goal. Um, my fiance, my fiance and I have been, you know, kind of putting things in motion. I don't want to say we've, it's, it's hard to say right now, but it's something that we've, we've talked about, um, going in together. So we've been looking at property and and maybe renting a place and I don't want to say too much um about it just yet this is something that I would say definitely stay tuned for um because we are we are looking over all of our options and trying to figure out how to bring a community darkroom to well another community darkroom to LA so um, I'm needless to say, I'm super excited for not only 2020, but also just the future in general. Um, I find that writing down goals, short term and long term is super helpful, especially around New Year's, obviously. Um, so thank you for listening. I hope this inspired you guys to maybe write your own list of goals, whether short term, long term or just goals in general. Um, I want to say Happy New Year. Happy 2020 to everybody. Thank you guys for all your continued support with the podcast and the channel. I'm looking forward to the future and I hope you guys are too. Until next time, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye.